Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Well, I'm doing another video. Yes, it's been one of those weeks. My laptop battery decided to swell and almost explode. Um, I did the Shutterbug AU um, video and edited it on Things laptop, which wasn't easy, but now I have a new laptop and I can do some videos. So there'll be a few coming out to you fast and furious, but they won't be that long. Unfortunately, the joys of living in the tropics, the battery swelled in the heat and the humidity. Um, my fault, I left it in my office over a weekend and it got really hot. So there you go, you learn your lesson. Anyway, let's get started with today's video. Happy Mail. I received Happy Mail this week. I got a little card from Barbara from the Rona Beach. I love the card she sends me. It's making me want to go to Florida. I've been watching channels in Canada and I was thinking a retirement trip would be Florida, Alaska, Canada. Maybe stop off in the UK on the way home. Big dollars, but you never know. I might win lotto. Thank you, Barbara. Lovely card. Yes, I'm feeling great. Um, other than, you know, things go wrong, like your laptop battery deciding to have a hissy fit. It's a lovely card, lovely sunset. I would be like to be sitting there drinking some fresh juice. So that was the first one. And also I got a box of Happy Mail goodies. Ta -da! This big box from... Raylene, a lovely honey friend and subscriber in Victoria. There's a little card inside. Just a little note. Look at those. I think they're roses and lavender. Isn't that lovely? Just a little card. Hope you're well. Sorry you haven't sent this earlier. Don't have to worry about sending me stuff. Hope you like all the goodies and some of the chocolates for Thing Reeves to share. From your yarny friend Raylene. Well, there were chocolates in the box. There were two jars. One was old gold, peanut, and honeycomb, which Thing properly claimed because it's dark chocolate and he loves old gold chocolate. And he said, Oh, I'll have those. And the other ones were berry chocolate, milk chocolate, something that Reeves and I are sharing. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate thing does really like old gold gold so thank you Raylene they were really sweet I think her post office was a little hot because they were a little melted that day um, we wake them in the fridge straight away the parcels sit out the back and I don't think it's air conditioned anyway I will share the yarny goodness with you so she did email me about this yarn she was given up but she can't use it and she forwarded it to me. Sorry about the crinkling. I'll put it over here. Now, two, four, six, eight balls of this ice yarn. Ta-da! In this colour. So I'll give you some info because I don't know what it is. Glasses aren't on your head, Judy. They're over here. So it's ice yarn. Bonbon bon tweed. It's got quite the mixture of um, fibres. 10% silk, 30% wool, 20% acrylic, 15% cotton, 25% polyamide. It's a purple fleck. Can you see that? It is a lovely yarn. It's quite soft. Doesn't irritate my skin. I'd give that a good 4 out of 5. Um, so what weight is it? It's hard with ice yarn. They say it's a full weight and needs a 5mm knitting needle. That, for me, is quite a fine full weight. It's a bit more than, well, what we call 10-ply. It's a bit more than an 8-ply. It's like a 9-ply, somewhere between an 8, eight and 10-ply. It's got a bit of a halo, a fluffy feeling to it. Can you see that? What to make with this? That is the question because I do really quite like it. Does it have a colour name? They never usually do. They just usually have a colour number. No, it doesn't have a name. It just has numbers. But there you go. Guys, let me know in the comments below. Eight balls, how much meterage? 
so you can make some suggestions on what I could make. There's 85 meters per ball, so multiply by, by eight, and that's the size of the project. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think I should make. I did come up with something and then realized there wouldn't be enough of the two of this yarn. I have to introduce the second one. So, yeah, the next yarn. I do have a couple of balls of this in a different color. It is Summer Nights Newitz Estevals. This one. Ta da! This is a Lion Brand yarn. It's 800 meters per ball, 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. It's a one. Two is about as small as I go. I've never really used a one. But having said that, there are one, two, three, four balls all in the same colour. So I probably would hold two together. But yet again, it's got a... I'll just put the others over there. It's got a bit of a glitter to it. And um, it's a case of... it. They recommend... 3.5 mil knitting needle no 3.25 knitting needle on a 3.5 mil crochet hook me I probably would hold two together and use a three millimeter because that's what I normally do but it is what would I make with this I really don't know it is the color is stargazing so there's a bit of a clue I could make something let me know in the comments below what you think I should make with the Lion Brand yarn. It doesn't end there. That's the yarn, but there is so much in this box. She has sent me, and I've been, I took one out this, oh, here it is. I used this this morning. Two tape measures. You have no idea. I was so over the moon. I had three tape measures, and I've lost two. I'm down to one. I was down to one. And she sent me two. She sent me this Christmassy one on a key ring, which I think is awesome. And then this little flower one. So, yes, tape measures are like treasure. I'm hopeless. I lose them all the time. So she must have done some shopping, Christmassy shopping in the sales, which I really love because her sales are different to mine. So she's given me these two little Santas, which I will use on my stall at Christmas, I think. They would be really good mini plushies to have on the stall just to dress it up. I may even put one in my office at Christmas time. Aren't they cute? Very, very cute. She has sent me some Christmas trucks with trees on and these are buttons. They are metal buttons. They're cute. I like those. Then there are some more Christmassy buttons, big buttons. It, it's really great because they, when they're down there, they get different Christmassy stuff to us. thing I love about Raylene is she always hits the Christmas sales and gets me some tea towels. So there's this one, Merry and Bright. You know, best time to buy them is after Christmas in the sale, ready for the following year. Cozy vibes only. Isn't that a great one? Look at the, that's a West Island Terrier, I think, the dog. There's two. And then there's this one, Ho, 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 Jolly Christmas. So they are awesome because they're so different to what we get here. And it's great that she thinks of me at the sales and gets them for the sales. She's got me a spotlight Christmas bag. You know, some of these I hope Raylene doesn't mind. If I have a giveaway for Christmas in July, I might put some of this stuff in there, like the bag. I don't know. I think because I don't get this here, it's so nice to have something different to give away. Because there's two bags in here, and one of them I'm definitely going to keep. So, star buttons. I love the fact that she finds all these unusual buttons always thinking of my tea Australian afternoon tea by Twinings love this tea if you haven't tried it you should it's really nice and this bag I'm keeping because I just love it 
It's me. There you go. It looks like an emu drinking out of a cup. Nice and bright. I actually was tidying this morning and thought, I need a big bag to put that stuff in. And guess what I'm going to use this for? To put the stuff in. It is Christmas lovey stuff that I want to put away for now. I've been sort of sorting for the markets. But isn't that awesome? I really love that. Raylene, you have gone over the top again. I really appreciate it. Don't ever feel you have to send me anything. And if you do pick up things that you think I might like, please, I'm happy to pay for them. These will be great sellers on the market. And um, because Raylene sends me stuff like Karen, the money usually goes to Emma's Quest. And although we're not doing major fundraising, we're still, like, Doreen's her mum is still doing selling chocolates at different corporate offices and recycle cans. Um, different restaurants are collecting those for us because we get 10 cents a recycled plastic can, Tetra pack, and they've just introduced wine bottles and um, spirit bottles. So, And it's, it's quite a nice little fundraiser for her to keep things going for some of the smaller things Emma may need. So yes, even though I won't be totally fundraising for Emma this year there are still things that people have sent me for Emma's quest that if they sell that money will go to Emma's quest for Emma because Doreen is always needing things for Emma she's 14 now growing fast very much the teenager and um, is having fun loves school so thank you Raylene I really appreciate it especially when you're thinking of what I can sell at the markets which brings me to I have been setting up this morning to try and start filming my tea towel topper demonstration. Look, it may not get to you before Easter. It may not get to you before Christmas. But I am set up and hopefully the lighting will be good enough. Guys, that's it for my happy mail. I do have a major finished object for you. I know, I kept saying I'm knitting my projects, my big projects. And you're probably thinking she's just carrying on there she's not really knitting well I have finished one of the big projects two nights sewing in ends just taken a photo of it with Reeves outside in the garden because we have sunshine and I will be back to do a video on it it'll only be a brief video but it is a big project I'm really proud of it I enjoyed doing it and I want to share it with you so make sure you come back and check out the next video Guys, I love receiving happy mail, but please don't feel you need to send me anything other than warm well wishes. Um, if I haven't replied to emails, that's because I've got to go and try and backtrack what came in when my laptop decided to have a hissy fit. But until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you make some suggestions in the comments on what I can make with these. I really like this. I, I think it's really nice. So there you go. Bye for now.